Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Gaming News on Clownfish Gaming, and we're going to talk about Twitch. Apparently, they're making an update to their streamer payout programs, and uh, people are calling it a rare win for Twitch. Now, I think they're doing this out of desperation. A lot of streamers are jumping ship to other platforms like YouTube and Kick and even Rumble. Uh, people are leaving Twitch because, to me personally, it doesn't look like a very safe bet. Uh, Amazon has gutted Twitch recently. They laid it off like a, a third of their staff. We had the CEO coming out and saying that the company is not profitable. It has never been profitable. And uh, Amazon is looking to save as much money as they possibly can. And a company like Amazon, they're only going to allow something to be unprofitable for so long before they shut it down or sell it off. So I still don't think Twitch is a, a very safe bet for most people, but that's that's just me. That is my opinion. Um, we don't we don't stream over there very much anymore. We used to. Uh, I just I don't want to put my eggs in that basket. But let's uh, let's talk about this. If you haven't given a sub to our channel yet, please do that. Uh, please follow us wherever you found this video at this content at. Uh, so here's the tweet they put out. Twitch. New update, Partner Plus is expanding. Starting on May 1st, partners in, and affiliates can earn higher revenue share for subs. Qualification starts February 1st. Check out the blog for more info. They have a blog post. Uh, the Verge put up a story about it saying streamers who rely on Twitch Prime gaming subs are getting a slight pay cut. But they're not mentioning that they're also uh, being more fair, I guess, with the, uh, the revenue share. They're not going to cap it. I think it was capped if you made over $100,000 a year. Um, you went from like 70-30 to 50-50 or something, some ridiculous, like they actually penalized you for making more money. I'm like, what the hell? Uh, the Verge says the company is also changing some of its other monetization features, including expanding the Partner Plus program. Uh, Twitch is making big monetization changes, they said. Again, in an attempt to make a more sustainable system, they need to keep people there. Lowering earnings in some places and raising them in others, this new batch of changes includes expanding its Partner Plus program and changing the way its uh, integral Twitch Prime gaming subscription pays out creators. A blog post, CEO Dan Clancy outlined three major changes coming to the ways uh, streamers make money from Twitch. Okay. First, Twitch is eliminating the $100,000 cap on its 70-30 revenue split for the platform's highest earning creators. Last year, Twitch implemented a plan in which the highest earning streamers would have their subscription revenue beyond 100,000 reduced from 70-30 to 50-50. Yeah, so you're being penalized for making more money. It's like taxes. You're being penalized for making more money. Like they want to keep your ass broke, you know, or something. Uh, we're removing the uh, 100K cap on net revenue at the 70-30 revenue share level for all streamers. It should actually go down. If you're bringing Twitch more money, they should take a smaller cut. That's kind of how it works with, uh, I know with YouTube, with uh, MCNs, if you're a member of like an, a, you know, an MCN or something, a lot of times if you're a bigger channel, they won't take very much. They'll take a smaller percentage because your smaller percentage is still more money than they're getting from, you know, other people that aren't really bringing it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if you're, they're only making like $1,000 a month, they're going to take like probably 20, 30%. If you're making, you know, a half a million or a million dollars a year, they might only take like 5%. You're still paying them more than the other, you know what I'm saying? It should actually go down. That's my personal opinion. It should be like, okay, well, realistically, you know, how much money are, are, are individual streamers paying us? And I think it's, I think it's kind of dumb. I think it's dumb to penalize people for making more money because it, it disincentivizes them from making more money. And if they make less money, you make less money, right? That's how that works. That's how that works. Uh, Clancy wrote the cap served as a disincentive. Well, there it is. Uh, having a program in place that penalizes the highest earner seems bad for business. No, duh. Especially as Twitch's largest streamers and thereby its biggest assets are increasingly looking beyond the platform to make a living or are being wooed away by huge contracts. Yeah, they're all leaving. Because Kick's throwing money at him. Now, I don't know if Kick is going to last long term, but, you know, somebody throws millions of dollars at you and your audience is going to go with you anyway, you might as well do it, you know? Because because if you're a streamer, I mean, all of us in this space, all of us that do YouTube or Twitch or whatever it is, you know, this kind of content, uh, we have a shelf life. And, uh, you know, some of us last longer than others, but there is an expiration date. And you got to kind of get in and make your money or, or use that as a platform to build something else as, as fast as you can, in my opinion. 
Um, the next big change is coming to the Partner Plus program. As it exists now, partners who manage 350 paid subscriptions for three months straight become eligible for a 70-30 revenue split for the following 12 months if they dip below the 350 subscription threshold. In the new program, Twitch is adding a new revenue split tier 60-40 retooling the thresholds at which creators can qualify for the program and expanding the program beyond partners to affiliates. So this begins in May. Uh, tier one subscriptions at the standard 499 are worth one point. Uh, yeah, so they have a point, point program. Tier two are worth two points and tier three are worth six points. The new, that sounds confusing. The new tiers of the Partner Plus program, which Twitch will now call the Plus program, are broken down below. You can see that. Uh, Twitch says the new Plus program will triple the number of creators who can take advantage of specialized revenue splits. Again, um, you want more people to be able to have subs because that's more money for your company. So starting on June 3rd, Twitch is changing the payment to a flat rate based on the subscriber's country. Uh, okay, so some people are going to get a pay cut then. While any decrease will feel disappointing, the difference between what streamers receive today for a Prime Gaming subscription and what they will receive after the change to fixed rates is less than 5%. The vast majority of them. so it's just a very small percentage of people, but most people it sounds like it's it's actually a more favorable deal. So it's either that or Twitch shuts down. I mean, <laughs> it's like yeah, you know, take your pick. Would you like Twitch to just shut down? Because I think Am I honest to God think Amazon would just shut it down. I think they would. Uh, I think they just shut it down. And uh, you know they've tried they tried doing the artistic nudity thing that lasted like a day because uh, people were just abusing that. And I think that was a last, uh, a last ditch effort to stave off the layoffs. And there were, uh, you know, massive, massive layoffs at Twitch. And, you know, I think they were just trying to, trying to make money. Uh, I don't know, this just feels like desperation to me. Uh, this actually seems like a huge nerf to Twitch Prime subs reading further into it. For some, for some people it's gonna be, you know. Um, affiliates qualifying for Partner Plus is amazing. Uh, a lot of people say it's actually good. So I can't read someone explain this to me in Fortnite terms. I feel this other person here says, I feel like this part was not alluded to in the real announcement Twitch is trying to make. The real, the rest is the nice Trojan horse. Yeah, so that would be the, uh, the pay cut for some people. So a lot of people, smaller creators are like, yeah, this is great. Um... So I don't know, guys, uh, you know, Twitch, I think they're going to go down. They're going to go down fighting, but I do believe that they are. I personally, it's just my personal opinion. I personally think they're on borrowed time, knowing how Amazon thinks, knowing how Jeff Bezos thinks, knowing that they've shut down Comixology, even though it was profitable, it wasn't profitable enough. And seeing all these media companies just collapse, I could, I could totally see Amazon being like, okay, guys. You got six months to turn this thing around, or we'll give you another year to turn it around. You do what you can do to turn Twitch around. If you cannot turn Twitch around, then we're shutting it down or we're gonna sell it off or something. And I could totally see Amazon doing it because it might be more of a benefit to them as a tax write-off than it is right now, just being this money losing video game streaming operation that didn't make the big bucks they thought it was going to. They thought it was gonna be a YouTube competitor for them that they were gonna make all kinds of money, but. <laughs> you know, it's not making all kinds of money, clearly, at least on paper. I mean, it might, it might be, and they might just be using it as a, a creative tax shelter. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.